I just got this sweatshirt and my headphones got washed in them. Let's see if they still work. They work. Let's go. So basically yesterday was like 60 degrees. Three days ago, it looked like this. Okay. And then today, as you can see here, there's snow on the ground and it's 26 degrees outside. So it's the weather's been all over the place the past week and a half. That's why I haven't been making any videos. I recently bought a brand new bait caster. I came to Cabela's today to get a rod for it. So that's why I'm here. I'm not gonna be doing any fishing right now. The next fishing you see will probably be in a few days. I'll see you guys when I'm in Cabela's. I'm trying to find a good rod to root a look at. All right, guys, just came back from Cabela's. I'm still in the parking lot, but I got some, uh, just a couple lures. I got a really good lure that I really want to try out really bad. And then I got the rod in the back, and I'm going to go home and tell you guys about it. All right, guys, here I have the stuff I got from Cabela's. All right, so first off, let's start off with the, the rod I picked up. Now, I already went ahead and tied on my... Uh, Real. It's just an Abu Garcia Black Max, but I got a Cabela's Pro Guide IMG. It's a uh, medium heavy action seven foot two rod, and uh, it's for uh, jigging. For the baits that I got, I got a uh, just some cheap Fisherman to go by Cabela's Green Pumpkin Crawls right here, um, and a Booyah, just a little baby boo jig to go with those crawls. I bought those for my jigging rod. Um, I also got a little Z-Man chatterbait. It's in like a like a bluegill color. It's a one half ounce. And then the last thing I got was a Livingston jerk bait with the uh, little this the sound technology inside of it. You basically touch two of the line guides and uh, or the little O-ring split ring, and it turns on electric bait fish sound. This is the uh, beauty shad color. It dies four to six feet, but those are the things that I got from Cabela's. Um, hopefully, it'll turn out good. I'm probably going to be using these jigs a lot on my new rod because it's a uh, jig and worm rod. That's that's all the stuff I got. Alright guys, before I get finished making this quick video, I just want to tell you a little bit more about this uh, Livingston Jerkbait here. First off, it's got this um, translucent kind of sexy shad pattern. It kind of uh, like follows the path of that Mega Bass Vision 110 style shape. But what's different about this is it has a sound system in here that mimics a bait fish and I have a microphone here. So you can hear the sounds of it, but basically it turns on when you dip it in the water for five seconds, these two line guides here. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but that was the little bait fish sound. 
Now it has three different sounds. It has the bait fish original sound, it has a crawfish sound, and it has a shad, uh, shad sound. Now here is the first original sound. Now here is going to be the crawfish sound. So that's the original. That's the crawfish. And then that's the other sound. Now if you hold it here in the water, I'll move the microphone. You can hear the sounds it making. So, so basically this thing has um, a regular original sound, a crawfish sound, and it has the shad sound. And then to shut this thing off, you just let it sit completely still for three minutes, and then it eventually turns off. So that's what's cool about these Livingston jerk baits. They also make them in a they make them in a lipless crank, and they also make them in a square bill and a deep diver. And I just happened to pick up the jerk bait because they're on sale Cabela's. I think they're a really great deal, guys, if you want to go get one. And I can't wait to try this out because I feel like this thing will catch a lot of fish. So until next time, I'll see you guys on the next video. See you guys later.